Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we're Let's Playing Dragon Quest 3 with the Party of Champions. Yes, in this game, I have an all-female group with a hero, a thief, a dealer, and a goof-off. That's right. Now, actually, you know what? Let me explain in case you are playing along with me and you did not use this party. Basically, let me read you off some of the classes that are really good for, or personalities that are really good for a hero that you might want to try to get later. Again, I'll show it as we go along. Well, basically, there's a Valiant personality for a hero, which increases their, which emphasizes strength and vitality. We have Solitary, which increases their strength, or emphasizes strength, agility, vitality, and intelligence, which makes them well balanced. We have Silly, which increases agility and intelligence for a faster, better spellcaster. We have Fearless, which has greater emphasis on agility and vitality, and it makes the hero more likely, blah, 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 to rush in a battle with greater confidence, which really doesn't matter because you're controlling them. And then finally, Sexy. Alright, now we have a warrior class. He's a big, uh, you know what, he's a great big pink guy. And he's basically like the guy who can equip heavy armor and stuff. Uh, let's show him off, actually. Uh, dismiss, uh, let's just dismiss everybody. I'll, I'll show off all this stuff anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dismiss Stella. And dismiss, uh... Yeah, because I want to explain all this just in case you've never played Dragon Quest before, Dragon Quest 3 before. So let's uh, enlist the other guys. Joseph. Maggie. The Cleric. And so you can see what they look like too, why the hell not. And Betty. Nurse Betty. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so now we have an ideal party. And ba <laughs> and basically, as you can see, the warrior, if I can click on him, he basically is a big tough guy. He can equip lots of armor, lots of shields and weapons and all that. And basically the five personalities, and he's kind of slow as you can see, the five personalities that you would want him to get, or her, strength and vitality, which would be valiant, that would basically give them more strength and vitality than they're already going to gain because they gain a lot of it. Uh, Amazon, again, this is only for a female. It increases the uh, strength of a, war of a female warrior, making her the ultimate female warrior. Quick, which emphasizes more on agility, which can be make them fast and strong. Alert, which raises intelligence and agility and makes your warrior smart and fast. I don't know why you would need them smart, but whatever. And then Lucky, which increases your warrior's agility and luck. So that's pretty cool. The next person we have in line, um, I'm just going to, uh, yeah, the cleric, the female cleric. Basically, with her or him, you want them to have a sharp personality, which increases their strength, agility, and intelligence, and makes them get a lot of MP. They, meaning they can cast more spells. Then we would want a lewd personality. I don't know why, but it's similar to sexy and provides the cleric with well-balanced stats. Same thing with a sexy uh, cleric. So we would want this girl to be sexy. Lucky, which raises the lux and keeps all the other stats healthy. And then finally, kindly, which raises your strength, intelligence, and vitality. Next, we have a female wizard, wizard, wizardess, or whatever. But yeah, for wizards, basically, you want sharp again, because that really raises the intelligence and, uh, and agility. Fearless is pretty good. Makes this, makes them pretty, uh, good. Silly, strength, agility, intelligence. That's good. Romantic, it helps keep them speedy and smart. And then sexy again. And then finally we have, uh, we have a fighter, which is basically like a warrior, but they, uh, they can't equip as much armor. They're faster, though, and they, uh, they're faster, and, uh, what else? Basically, they can get more critical hits as their levels go up. So that's pretty cool. But they, basically what you want with their personalities, you want to get a tough one which increases strength, vitality, quick, which increases even more agility, which is pretty sweet, and then valiant, which increases strength and vitality, jock, which increases agility, with less emphasis on agility, but more emphasis on strength, 
And then finally, Solitary, which is Strength, Agility, Vitality, with equal emphasis. So yeah, I hope uh, I, that that wasn't too crazy, like with my expl explanations there. And then finally we can get a Sage, and the Sage is basically a Cleric and a Wizard combined. And they learn both healing spells and offensive spells. So that's cool. Mages learn offensive spells and stuff, and then clerics learn um, more healing and defensive spells. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I think that's everything that I can think of at the moment. So let us talk to this guy. Now, we're going to be buying quite a many medical herbs because we don't have any healers for quite a while so and then we're not even going to bother buying these pot lid shields but as you can see new to this game you can buy more than one item of whatever or at least regular items you can't do that with uh, equipment no i don't want to buy it no 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 so yeah that's pretty neat so let us trade this stuff let's give the traveler's clothes to iris uh, no, damn it. Let's give this to Stella. The club to her. And, and nice about this game is you can just give them to people and then they can equip it right on their screen without having to go to the equip screen if you don't want. And then let's give this to her because she can't be equipped with a club. And basically, how your party lines up is basically how your, um, uh, how, uh, what the hell is it? people will get hit, basically. So, right now, Sophie would get more attacks, and uh, then Iris, then Stella, then uh, Ruby. So yeah, you want to keep that in mind as you're going up. But yeah, here's some items I'm going to be buying, you know, probably shields for everybody. Leather armor, I might buy a couple, copper sword, sure, and other stuff. So yeah, I'm not going to... I might not buy a lot from here except shields. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I understand that, I understand that this uh, episode's gonna be a lot of explaining things. So let's peer down the well for the first time. And look at this, we have a house, someone living inside a well. Let us talk to these guys. So basically how personalities work. Yeah, this guy is the, basically the Metal King. And you've only seen me for the first time, so that's kind of weird, but all right, fair enough. So basically this guy will give us, um, will give us all kinds of rewards for handing him tiny metals just like before. And we can look in bookshelves, and here's what we can get. Spiny whip, guard belt, blah, 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 blah. You see all this good stuff. I'm going to try to get them all. Hopefully I can. And all that good stuff, so yeah. But yeah, this game has a personality system, and basically, you know how one character, like, uh, like, let's take example of a warrior. A warrior, you know, will only gain, will only gain high boost and strength and vitality and HP. But now, if you give him a personality, he can actually gain some in, in, uh, in speed too. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you know, the personalities help. Now I don't know, cause all these stuff are. All these things on a curve, so I don't know if they changed that for this game to make it so seeds are useful, but I'm going to use them anyway. So let's use a Luck Seed on Iris, yeah, and a Strength Seed on, I think, Stella. Oh, only one. Oh, well. Alright, let's take our party outside and fight. And as you can see, we have the world and, uh, this cool stuff. Wow, okay, there we go. I was gonna say no attacks. But here we go. Here's our first enemy ravens. Basically, they're they're pretty tough because they come in uh, some they can usually come in some big groups. We should be able to hand them, handle them right now. Yeah, so this this group has no healing uh, except for the hero, and she probably won't learn anything for quite a while. At least a few levels. So yeah, medical herbs are gonna be our best friend. So, occasionally a thief, after beating an enemy, will steal an item from a, 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 um, an enemy, a monster. And then occasionally, or most of the time, a dealer will find a little bit of gold after we beat them. I'll try to show that off. But here we are at the village of Reeve. And here are some new items. 
those turbines. We're gonna want to buy two of those for the for the goof off and for the uh, dealer. No, I don't have a thief's key. Yeah, they want us to go to Najimai Tower. And here we go. Here's our first book of the game. And basically what books do is they alter people's personality. So say your character has a personality you're not too fond of and they're not gaining the stats that you want. If you find a certain book that uh, will let people, will let uh, your characters uh, get a different personality to one that you would want, you could totally read that book. So yeah. I think that guy said something about there's more powerful monsters at night. Yeah, I'm a woman. I do. Oh, they killed your mommy. I'm sorry to hear that. So yeah, basically I'm gonna try to get all my female ladies into sexy. So yeah, we can also... This is where I'm going to buy all my equipment. Turtle shell armors. And chain sickles. And probably two leather hats. Probably. And this is what I'm going to be doing off-screen as I go get money and stuff. Now, it's going to be a little easier to get money in this game due to the fact that I have a dealer. And they occasionally, or they usually will pick up gold uh, as you go up levels. And let's move this rock for him. Yeah, it will. It will totally come in handy. Now, if we go over here and we hit the uh, button, we can find a tiny metal. Two out of, uh, let's say, 110, I think there are. I don't remember exactly how many there are. There's a lot. I am looking for a magic ball. I want to cross over to, to other places. Whatever. Alright, I thought I can get... No, I think I have a different town. Whatever, so that's the village of Reeve, and that is the uh, equipment that I'm eventually going to buy. Basically, what I'm going to do... Yeah, we're going to show this battle. Oh, here's some slimes. Oh yeah, you know what, let me show you the fight mechanics. Basically, you have fight, spell, parry, which is defense, item, equip, and flee. You can change your equipment on the fly in this game, just like Dragon Quest VI. Pretty cool. Now, if you like, like other games, if you attack a monster and they're dead, it will just attack another monster, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, Stella is going to be doing... Man, or, or actually, Ruby is going to be doing many, many stupid things during battle. Can you not all kill her? But yeah, you know what? We don't need you dying, so just defend. Yeah, I can't believe I'm defending against slimes. So let's kill these guys off. Hopefully I can show you the, uh... Alright, Stella reaches level 2. Excellent. Maximum HP raises, and yeah, not so good right now, but... Don't worry, it will get better. So yeah, I'm gonna be purchasing a shit ton of metal herbs as well, so... Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff I'm gonna be doing. But as you can see, we have changed tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna show these battles for the time being. Just to show the battle mechanics. And yeah, Sophie's a beast. And also I want to... There we go. No, I don't want to show this, but I guess we can. Her HP ri raises by 15. Holy crap. Very nice. Ruby goes up a level. She gains... Not too bad. Yeah, her luck is going to go up a lot. A whole lot. So that's pretty cool. Yay for battles! Yeah, I'll eventually start editing these bad boys out, but for the time being, I'm gonna show them in. I really want to show Stella getting some, pocketing some money when she beats him, but it doesn't look like she wants to do it. But it is nighttime. Let's go back to Eliahan or Alahan, whatever, and check it out at night. Our mom is waiting for us outside. Yeah, basically, I'll, pr I'll try to show off everything, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna be staying here. It's full, isn't it? You bastards have a full in. Well, I would never stay here anyways. Because my mom, I can just sleep at my house. 
No, I'm not gonna be staying here. I don't know who the hell you are. But yeah, I like how they changed the music a little bit. Yeah, you did. Yeehaw, really? No, you're gonna say the same thing. But yeah, um... Yeah, basically, their town, the towns will have different... Uh, people say different things at night, and we get a small medal. Excellent. I want to try to get five before I leave this island. I don't have any business with... Oh, well, actually, I just have that, that hero's tax I want to get on you. Yeah, okay. So you avoid the darkness because you're afraid of it. So basically what I think I'm going to do... Maybe not right away, between this episode and the next. But in the next episode, we are going to explore the... Yeah, because I don't think we can go up, up to the castle. Oh, we can go in the castle. I am going... Oh, look. You hear that cool music? I like it. They give it a little different emphasis uh, at night. That's pretty cool. But let's do something here. Will you block our paths? Oh, you will. There's a soldier standing there even at night. Oh, well. All right, so in the next episode, I think I'm going to head over to Reeve, show off that baby at night, and then we're going to actually start our adventure and going to a certain area and collecting some treasures. Yeah, I don't think there's anything different here. No, there's a guy with a kitty. Hey, kitty. So yeah, next episode, we will head back to Reeve at night and check that place out and then start our real adventure. This has been Kenshin1913. I will see you later. Bye-bye.